Oh, yeah. How's everybody doing? This is Finding Summer Jacks. You don't know the words yet. Cause we don't have any words. We're just gonna make up whatever you want. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. What's going on? How's everybody doing? It's a Sunday morning. I'm sitting here staring out at uh, my new rack, man, for uh, this servo. It's very cool. I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it up for you. How's everybody doing? A dreary day. I think it's raining a little bit right now here in the city of Philadelphia, just outside of the city of Philadelphia. And uh, we're going to make some phone calls. We're going we're gonna to have, uh, we're taking requests today. So this may be one isolated show just for Spotify folks because we're going to play music as well. So I opened it up a little while ago. We got some calls, some requests, but I'm also going to call some people and uh, I'm going to make them talk to us. All right. So, uh, so today we'll talk about loneliness. And if you Google the word loneliness, something will come up. It says uh, there are three types of loneliness, existential loneliness from an existential perspective. A little bit of existential loneliness is good for the soul, and it is definitely an inevitable part of human experience. Emotional loneliness, and then social loneliness. And I was just thinking about that, because when I got up today, even though I was surrounded by people, I started thinking about my friends, and then I th thought about uh, those out there that might not have any friends, or might just be might just be in a funky place where you're feeling lonely. You know, we won't, uh, you know, there, there's all kinds. Of, I mean, if you Google that, right, loneliness, just the word loneliness, all kinds of articles pop up from Psychology Today, which is a good read all the time, by the way. Um, Very Well Mind, Wikipedia, Everyday Health, uh, Campaign to End Loneliness. There's a ton of things. Loneliness, loneliness in America, how the epidemic has deepened, uh, you know, this, this feeling of loneliness. Loneliness and social isolation linked to serious health problems. Um, and that is uh, kind of, uh, well, I can read you a little bit of this because it's from the Centers for Disease Control. Loneliness and social isolation in older adults are a serious public health risk affecting a number, a significant number of people in the United States and putting them at risk for dementia and other serious medical conditions. Uh, a report from the National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine, NASM, points out that more than one third of adults aged 45 or older feel lonely. And nearly one-fourth of adults age 65 and older are considered to be socially isolated. Older adults are at increased risk for loneliness and social isolation because they are more likely to face factors such as living alone, the loss of family or friends, chronic illness, and hearing loss. Loneliness is the feeling of being alone regardless of the amount of social contact. Social isolation is a lack of social connections. Social isolation can lead to loneliness in some people while others can feel lonely without being socially isolated. I mean, this goes on and on, but I think it's interesting, uh, that second part about social isolation, right? And, and that being a cause for loneliness, which I think kind, to, kind of uh, connects with our connection with social media. I know there's times where, you know, I miss my old friends, right? It could be back from the neighborhood. It could be from the band days. It could be, uh, you know, high school days or whatever. And, you know, we can talk about the negatives of social media, but the positives for me are I can go to one page and basically go hang out with some folks. Or if I want to talk to somebody about something that happened so many years ago in my youth, it's there. Simultaneously, you can feel lonely and isolated if people are not responding to your post. You're looking at the likes in, in your head. You feel as if the likes are um, an acknowledgement of maybe how popular you are or how many people are paying attention to you. And I think it's important also that we don't get caught up in that as well, because there are people that are folks, they're just busy. They don't have the time to sit there and read the things that we put up. I know I'm one of those people. I'll put it up for the for the podcast and, you know, you'll put a photo up and you're like, hey, man, is anybody is anybody checking this out? Is, you know, it's it, like it's kind of like an acknowledgement of what you're putting back. And you can even take it a step further. Like if someone speaks to you in person or I speak to somebody and they just look at you and stare at you. In a way, we're we're still connecting that to like, say, Facebook, where you're putting yourself out there, right? You're writing something and then somebody's looking at it and they just keep on, they keep on going. There's no like, there's no thumbs up. There's no interaction with it. They might not listen to or even check out or click on a picture that you put up. 
Here's where I'm going with that. You can't take it personal. You know, to some folks, it is just, you know, this information that's out there and it's not that connection like we used to have, right? And I know for me, I'm a people person in that way where I love to connect and you can't take it personal is what I'm trying to tell you when you have less likes than maybe somebody else does or any of that. And I'll tell you what's really difficult is being um, in this podcast game and it's all about the likes. It's all about the listens. Everything's about that. And if you start getting caught up in the numbers, that's where you can really drive yourself a little bananas. So with me, I try to, uh, you know, have my little circle of friends. Um, If you're lucky, you'll have one. You'll have two or three. Somebody you can pick up the phone and call, you know. Um, I know folks that don't have that and they're a little bit older. And what do they do? Well, they go to church. They get involved with the little activities that are going on in church. They go to senior centers. Um, there's a way to kind of like, you know, put yourself into the mix, if, if you will, uh, in that regard for some people who are maybe a little bit socially awkward. Um, there's different card games or different board games and such that are going on at senior centers, centers, volunteering. You get it to you get to interact with folks. There's ways. And then, of course, if you are at the point where like you're really, you know, socially lonely and and you're, you're finding yourself very sad. You can always talk to somebody, talk to your doctor about it. Maybe uh, another type of doctor that was willing to sit there and talk with you. And that's okay to do that. You know, it's about, uh, getting your quality of life and, you know, being alone is hard being alone and losing your social connections. I remember my father-in-law was like that many years ago, um, after the death of his wife, he's like, well, you know, what, what now? It's really hard for me to meet somebody because I'm not looking to go marry somebody else because I'm looking to Go to the movies with somebody or go to dinner with somebody, just a friend. And it's got to be really difficult for a lot of folks out there. When I'm talking about, you know, yeah, I kind of am talking about older folks, even for younger people. It's really hard for you as well. I was just thinking about the, I saw something again on social media in regards to um, this guy is shooting a video and he's in a mall and he's, this couple walked past him. He says, excuse me, how's your relationship? They're like, oh, it's fantastic. And he goes, you want to take a test? And they're like, yeah. He's like, switch phones, <laughs> switch phones. So they switch phones and he's like, oh, like, go into your TikTok. And, I, and then he started speaking a language I don't even understand. How many people you got like following you and how many, you know, likes do they have? And I, I don't get it because I don't have TikTok or anything like that. But it was about her having about a hundred <laughs> guys follow her. And then he goes, some of these, it looks like you're trying to link with. I don't even know what that means. I feel so old here. <laughs> but the moral of the story was, Everybody's craving for the attention. She was she wasn't really like interested from a romantic standpoint with these other people, but she was getting attention because she she was a cute girl and all these guys were following her. But the boyfriend's like, what are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And so now we have that to worry about a little bit with the social media. But I'm going to break that all down and come down to the human element in regards to loneliness. It's a normal thing, um, especially when you're younger, especially that that's the time where you're trying to find out where you fit in. And, you know, you know, people can be brutal, you know, with the bullying and all that type of stuff. You get the cool people trying to, you know, tell you there's something all, uh, wrong with you or something's off with you. And it's hard sometimes to buckle on down and uh, to be strong about that. And if you are a young person, I want to send you to uh, somebody on the Internet. He's a friend of mine. His name is Mark Marrow. And I just want you to Google Mark, M-A-R-C-M-E-R-O. Okay, Mark Marrow. And Mark runs a site. It's called Think Pause. Think Pause. T H I N K P O Z dot org. And you'll see a page come up and it says Champion of Choices by Mark Marrow. And Mark uh, runs this nonprofit, but it's about your choices that determine your destination. And Mark is one of the number one school presenters in the United States. And what he does, he goes around and he speaks to young people in regards to loneliness and bullying. And he's a big, champion for anti-bullying. I want you to spend some time on the Champion of Choices website. This thinkpause.org. That is the word think and then the word P-O-Z right after they're connected to it. Thinkpause.org. Go there, read what Mark's up to, follow Mark on Facebook, reach out to him. Um, We get 
what you're talking about. We get where you're coming from, but this is what Mark does. He goes to these schools and he talks about loneliness. He talks about people being bullied and that you're good. You're a good person and you're okay. And uh, it's them. It's the other people that are you know, not okay. If they're out there messing with people, I'm going to read just a little bit of this. Mark Marrow's tour reaches students at a heart level and gives them tools and inspiration to face everyday challenges and view their life from a new perspective. Mark shares his captivating journey with audience worldwide and inspires people to examine their life choices. Listeners feel a greater sense of appreciation towards their relationships and the gift of time and are empowered to make a difference in their personal life, their school career, and their community. So please go to, again, thinkpause.org, especially if you're a young person, um, and and check out Mark's message. There's actually a link here that will show some video that you can check it on on YouTube. It's endorsed by her teachers. I have seen Mark speak at several schools here in the Philadelphia area. The guy's great. He's doing some really great things. So this kind of also goes into loneliness. And then it segues with Mark. He'll talk about depression and stuff. And then, you know, this is a healthy place to go to if you are having hard times right now, folks, um, especially the younger folks. For the older folks, um, I get what you're talking about, you know, in regards to the loneliness. Everybody has it. I had it today. I was feeling a little sentimental in regards to friends going by and and just thinking about the friends that you still have and life and what we do with our time and how time is a gift. And I can keep on going with that. But I kind of just wanted to say that today about loneliness, that it's normal to be lonely. Okay, I get it. There's a lot of lonely people out there. And that is why I try to teach this all the time is just being nice to people. You know, smiling, having a conversation with people. Again, if you're a young kid, you want to be very careful if you're talking to strangers. You don't want to do that. But older folks, you know, it's okay to engage in a conversation with somebody. Smile to people, do nice things for people. And you never know what difference you're going to make in someone's life. So with that, it's basically what this was about today. Loneliness. And now I'm going to segue into making some phone calls because I'm feeling a little lonely. <laughs> I want to talk to some people. So here we go with that. Like, for instance, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to be that guy today. I don't care. I'm going to call people that I want to talk to. And that's how it is. <laughs> call Bank. He could be like in church right now. <laughs> Dallas playing today. You could be lined up for that. This is John. I can't get to the phone right now, but leave your name and number, and I'll call you back when I get a chance. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, John. This is Tony from Finding Subjects Podcast. We're live right now, and I'm calling you to uh, see if you wanted to make a, a request for a song. <laughs> I'll get you on the show, back on the show yet, dude. Hope all is good. Give me a call whenever you get a chance. Uh, I'm just sitting here farting around with the studio and uh, itching to make a recording. So I figured I'd give you a call and harass you. All right. Take care, buddy. Talk to you. I'm going to call Chico right now and bother him. Bob. Remember when we were kids and we used to do this mischief? And Hello, Anthony. Hey, this is Tony from Finding Subjects Podcast. We're live on the air right now. Is this Bob? <laughs> What? Hey, I'm doing the show. I'm calling you up because I'm, I'm taking requests for songs today. And so I figured I'm going to call you up and see what song you want me to play for you today. I was thinking about um, what was the song I was listening to? I don't know. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> it's called You Were On My Mind and I don't know the you name. You Were of the Always group. On My Mind. Now I thought Willie? of that. That's, real, it that's wasn't Willie, Willie. But this, is, this group it said, I woke up this morning and you were on my, my mind. mind. Oh, you that's a, were on my mind. I got oh. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I got, say it. Whoa, whoa. Isn't it weird the songs that we can remember just like that? <laughs> like, what's that song? I don't know. How does it go? Uh, and then you don't know the words, but you go. <laughs> oh, that song. And then, you know, like one word. Whoa, whoa. And then you start patching it all together. And before you know it, I kind of, we still don't have the name of the song. but That's a good tune. We got to find out what that's called, dude. And you're going to have to get back to me on that one. It is called You Were On My Mind. You Were On My We knew that. Right, we knew that, folks. But it is, but but there's a Willie Nelson fan. You were always on my mind. Yeah, and Willie, I think he Willie. did that within. 
Uh, Julio Iglesias? Uh, yes. Really? I must have stayed at a Holiday Inn Express I believe last it night. was a duet. I thought it was. Oh, okay. We'll have to check that one oh, out, no, too. No. No. No, the, other, no, the one he back. did with Julio was, To all the girls I love. To all the oh, girls I love. <laughs> <laughs> they wandered in and out. Of my my Lord. Lord. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. I got the back spray of uh, the postal... Dog spray that I used to spray so often. That's what happens. What's up, dude? How are you, man? Gloomy oh, day. Gloomy day. day. Yeah, it's a gloomy day Laura's outside. Having but, a rough day. Uh, her knees okay. are bothering her, shoulders are bothering her. And she goes in for an operation this week. Our prayers and Wednesday. thoughts will be with her. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So I just got to set up today a new rack for this system. You'll like it next time you come over here to see it. But uh, things are looking yeah. organized here. And I just wanted to. Uh, call you and talk to you for real quick and to see if I can get Look you on the air. Organized. And I, yeah, you could have been my in. My dad's name was Oregon, right? It was, yeah. Organized. And I heard nothing. I never met him, but he um, just sounded like a great guy. You know, very. Organdini. What a name. <laughs> Organdini. Yeah, I knew a guy, Pasquale. His first name was Pasquale. And I don't want to say, I, can I say his last name? You know who I'm talking about. Pasquale. Yeah. From work. Hey, Felicia Antonio. So I was like, Dude, that must have been incredible to put that on the back of a sports jersey. <laughs> De yeah, Felice and, you know, Antonio. And, and there's probably, you know, most Italians shortened their name. Like, mm-hmm. like I know a lot of Italians' last names just De Felice. Right. That's because they cut the Antonio <laughs> Madicalango off of that. Yeah. it would be 25 <laughs> different letters. But, so that's why we just called him Pat D. <laughs> right. yeah, I'm Pat all sugared D, up, right. by the way, in case you can't tell. Yeah, I don't know if you knew the... the uh, the people that worked at Bar- um, Davis has called him Barney Miller. Are you kidding me? Because he looks yeah. exactly like Barney Miller, if you think about it. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, to go in there and deliver mail, and they'd be, hey, Barney, what's up? Man? Dude, why did we never talk about this in 40 years? <laughs> he looks exactly like Barney Miller. Yeah. Why yeah, did I never Barney. put that together? <laughs> what a nice guy he was. Is he still with yeah. us, Bob? Did he pass away or what? No, nah, he's 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 what, crossed the river. Did he really? Mm, what a nice oh, guy! A couple of years ago, the only way I found that out, there was somebody here. Mm. I don't know if it was a, I don't know what he was here to give us an estimate or something. Mm-hmm. But he lived it. He lived right near them. And oh, said, all right. Oh man, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. And because uh, I told him I was a retired mailman. Yeah. And normally he said, "Oh, you know, Pat, you know." But I think the wife's still living. I'm okay. Sure. She was a very nice woman as well. Um, it was she interesting. I, a, a, a memory. Okay. She worked where? She worked at Swarthmore College. Oh, yeah. She yeah. sang. And she was a singer. Yeah. She used one to, of the churches. I heard her I sing Ave Maria one time. And I don't remember yeah. what the service was, but I was there. And she said, I'm like, wow, who is that? And Pat oh. said it was his wife. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's oh. funny. Here's a funny story about him. So I uh, I wrote an article one time. And I send it, it was, it was published in the hockey news, right? So nice publication to get something published in, but, uh, he brought the article to his son and we won't name the university at his son. I think he's like a president of now or whatever. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Big, pretty, uh, a pretty big university out there. And, uh, I guess that would be Chester County of Pennsylvania. Huh. But, uh, he's like, is guy, is he guy, uh, in any writing classes or anything? I start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he, so he kind of helped read that first book that I was messing with. I sent send it to him. He wanted yeah. to talk to me and I never yeah. got around, I never got around to talking to the guy, you know, cause I, you know, you know me, I got 20 <laughs> things going on at once, you know, and I can't right, focus right. on any of them, but uh, yeah, he, he got a really big kick out of uh, um, this article that uh-huh. I wrote. It was nice, but he was a really nice guy. <laughs> Pat, Pat was a great guy. I would, I would stop by yeah. there periodically if I was going by, like after he retired and when I was still working, yeah. but I was on the bike, I would stop by and say hello. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and then Susie says hello uh, yesterday. Uh, you know, uh, she left me a message. She's like, do, oh, okay. you, do you remember? You know, the, yeah. yeah. What, I she tried goes, to friend her on Facebook, but I, I, <laughs> I didn't get a reply. I was uh, friends and then mm-hmm. I switched my page. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. She uh, goes, she says, do you remember the time where you took your brand new bike down at uh, John Hines and they had the gates locked and you had to get back to work? <laughs> and and you had oh. to, you had to throw you had to carry my I had to lift my bike up over the gates to get out. I don't know why it was locked up. <laughs> that was back in like you know mid eighties or whatever that was. But she this she oh, said wow. I was just telling somebody the story about that. It was hilarious. I said yeah, but I still made it back on time. I used to love that bike, man. I used to kick butt on that bike. 
She's a really nice girl. <laughs> but she said she was down there the other day, I guess, taking pictures. She's a big photographer. So, uh, and she's got, yeah. you know, she's got nice equipment as well. A real nice lens. So, uh, wow. but I ran into her, oh man, maybe about, uh, oh God, Bob. Uh, well, before I got like seven years, seven or eight years ago. And uh, yeah. she's, she's looking at me. She's like, Tony, Tony. Oh. I'm like, and I had a pause for a second. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it's you. Oh. Nice. It was nice yeah. to see her. It was nice to see yeah. her. Hard yeah. working girl. Yeah. So, but anyway, I just want to call you today. I was hoping to catch you actually in church. I was hoping to catch somebody like, I, I can't talk. I, I was, we were going to go to church because there's a big, <laughs> there's a big, uh, luncheon up there going on. Uh, okay. All right. They got turkey, ham, I should say. Holy all those cow. Other, like a Christmas luncheon for uh. the congregation or whoever walks in. Nice. But, uh, Norman was hurting a little too yeah, much. Yeah, that's so. a shame. Well, our prayers are with her. Made her, bre- yeah. made her breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. I got to go up and check on her. Yeah. In a couple minutes. Well, hopefully she <laughs> feels better. Um, but uh, yeah, sometime this week, dude, we got to so, get together. This is this, for the COVID uh, test tomorrow. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. the surgery is Wednesday. Okay. So, well, if, if we have to do, uh, she'll be in the, yeah, she'll even be in the if, hospital. Yeah. She'll be in the hospital overnight. Okay. So I, I could do a Wednesday night. Conceivably. Well, it, yeah, but even if we just do it like this, you know what I mean? Like uh, yeah. over the phone is cool, you know. Uh-huh. But uh, all right, bro, I'm gonna go harass somebody else. I'm gonna just call. I'm just calling people right now. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just hoping to catch somebody in a really awkward situation. Like, but, uh, I just called Bank. There, there was another song I was just thinking okay. about. You can pull whatever one you want. Yeah, no, I like that one. The one you're talking about. It's a good it tune. Hit, it hit me. It just some of them old songs. That, mm-hmm. There, there's Dude. something happening in here. Uh, what it is ain't, ain't exactly clear. clear. Yeah. There's a man with a gun yeah. over there telling me. You've got, got to beware. To you better Everybody stop. stop. What's, what's that, that sound? sound? Everybody look Everybody what's going look down. down. What's going down, man? The turtles. <laughs> the turtles. <laughs> That's a good tune. That's on my rotation. <laughs> it's on my rotation. I don't, it was something about those mu- those songs. We talked about this before, about uh, those yeah. are the songs that you hear blaring over that crappy speaker at when you when, I, when you were belonging to a swim club. You know what I mean? Oh, oh you know what you know what I was thinking about? What's that? Um I was looking at this volcano Mauna Loa. Mm-hmm. Rubbed it in Hawaii. Right. And it's got lava ash all over. hmm And I can remember back in the seventies or the eighties, uh Mount Olympia, I think it was called Mount Olympia, somewhere out in Washington. A big Oh yeah, yeah. It was a big I think it was Olympia. Well, Mount Washington went off. That went and off, didn't it? And Mr. Tickle had little jars of ash. Oh, you know? yeah. Mr. Tickle. Sure. So I was thinking you and I should go to Hawaii, man, and scoop up some of that ash, <laughs> put, it, put it for sale. Well, <laughs> put I'm, it for sale I would on be, the internet. <laughs> I'd be surprised if somebody didn't scoop up some of that ash and put it in. Uh, some stash and start smoking it. Hey, dude, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Bink is calling back. Let me grab him. All right. I'll catch up All with right. you, buddy. See ya. All right. Hello, this is Tony from Finding Subjects. Who's this? Hey, Tony. It's Chris. <laughs> I know what you, dude. I'm just I'm just harassing figured, people today. I figured that. I'm harassing people today. How you doing? I'm doing fine. You working? Well, no, no, no. All right, no. cool. Are you doing I, I, something like really important? Because I'm hoping to interrupt people doing things really important today. No, I, actually, I wasn't. I had a terrible night's sleep. So uh, I up a little while ago. All right. And I had a bowl of cereal. Oh, there you go. What kind of cereal did you have, Bink? Uh, I it was it was uh like honey bunches of oats, but it was a knockoff brand of my wife buys. Ah, uh, you know what? Does she shop at Lidl or Aldi? Yes, she does. <laughs> Guess what? Ding ding ding! I'm ding, a ding. big fan of like you know I have uh. Uh, wheat thins, but they have thin wheats. <laughs> yeah. Their stuff's good, man. Their yeah, stuff is they good. Had, uh, they had this other stuff a long time ago. My father-in-law, my my mother-in-law would always buy like the no frills. Yeah, it's a and, knockoff. Uh, I like that yeah. word. So instead of having Cheerios, they had oh, Spacos. Yes, <laughs> Spacos. They had like little aliens on the box. You can't beat that, man. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing and, special. About and you know what? It's there. It's there. Like the funny part is, if you look at it, I forget where it is, Michigan or uh, Wisconsin. It's it, like everything is made from there. Like, I guess it's their big factories up there. They do a good job, you know, and the prices are fantastic. So I shop well, I there. It's, it's, it's made in the General Mills plant, I think. And the ah. on the floor. <laughs> the don't believe them, folks. Don't believe them. It's pink. 
That's what I think. I'm just saying what I think. Just thinking, just thinking. So uh, you got a song for us today, there, buddy? Bob just well, hit man. me. Bob just hit yeah. me with a song. Um, you, you're you're always on my you were always on my mind. Not or well, always on my mind. No. no, 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 no. Uh, I woke up this morning. You were on my mind. Remember that song? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But we couldn't figure out who sang it. But we're gonna play it, you know, for the folks a little bit. But do you remember that? I think it was a British. I'm not sure. But okay. It was a British. Yeah, but that was a song that he wanted to hear. And we had a couple oh, pe- other people call in, but I figured I'm calling you. I'm going to get you on the show today, and this is what we're doing right now. Okay. <laughs> what do you got lined up, man? Are the Cowboys playing today? Uh, the Eagles are playing. The yeah. Cowboys are not being televised, but we have to go down. Unfortunately, my wife's uncle passed away. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry to hear that. Tell uncle Tony, uh, great guy. It was at my cousin, Yanny. Yeah, oh, Yanny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Uh, my condolences to your family, and please... Uh, Tell your wife I said uh, I'm very, very sorry, and we'll keep her in, in our prayers. So, yeah, yes, I will. Sorry to hear We're that. We're going down to visit those guys. Today. Okay, all right. Uh, everything's going to be on Wednesday. Okay, so. bud. All right. Yeah, I'm but, sorry to uh, hear that. Yeah, raindrops are falling on my head. Why don't you do that with me? You got it. You know, I'm going to hook you up with that. Thomas. Isn't you, that BJ Thomas. Yeah, thing? yep, yep. And all right. Also in, uh, yeah. uh, what, what movie was that in, Tony? You got to know. know. Yep, I know. Butch Cassidy uh, and the Sundance Butch, Kids. Yeah, it's a great movie. Huh? That was a great, great movie, movie, which was a kind of a strange little um, twist to that movie. Like, you know, so there are a couple bank robbers and it was cool. They went down to Bolivia and stuff like that. But then there was this odd moment where they were kind of in love with this girl and she's riding. They're riding her on a little bicycle. Yeah, and then, they had the papa, dabba, 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 right? Yes. That you're about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. Yeah, it was a weird, it was a weird twist to that movie. It's like, we, and now it was a, a, a little break in the show for some romance, you know what I mean? And then boom, let's go back to Robin Banks at Bolivia and facing off with the Bolivian army. What's his name? Strother Martin. He's one. They don't get you going down the hill. They get, get you coming, coming up, up the hill. hill. Yep. You got no money going down the hill. <laughs> and then he spits. Bingo. <laughs> Yeah. Perfect, dude. Yeah. Well, listen, I want well, to have a great day. Brother. You too, brother. I will talk. I will talk to you soon. And uh, again, my condolences to the family. All right. I'll share that. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Take care, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. bye. All right. Sorry to hear that from Bink. Um, all right, we're just going to do this. I'm just going to flick through my phone. I got somebody. And Crenshaw. I don't think he'll answer. Hmm. Joe Biden. I don't think he's going to answer. Oh, I got some. I got an Amish friend. <laughs> How crazy would that be if I called my Amish friend? He's allowed to have a phone because he uh, he owns a business. But it's Sunday and it is uh, it's after twelve, so I know he's guaranteed he is in church for four hours, folks. Check that out. Um, I know somebody I can call. All right, let's call this guy. He's probably working. This is Goaty. Answer your phone. Come on, buddy. Or nobody wants to talk to me today. That's very possible. Please leave your message oh, come for on. four eight four. No. All right, I tried. Who else can I call? Here we go. Here we go. Yes, this is Tony from Finding Subjects Podcast. Is this Goaty? What's happening? Is this Goaty? That's it. I got Goaty on the phone, folks. Just calling to see uh, what time we can bring back the uh, backhoe. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How's Goaty today? Good. How you making out? Doing good, man. I'm just uh, harassing people. I'm calling people, um, you know, trying to catch them at church or something. We're in an awkward situation. Um, oh, I'm in a confessional. Little are you? Are you? Let me hear. Let us yeah. let us in on what you're saying. Just like say, hold on, Father, and just and then like let me know, and like and then start recording. All right. All right hold yeah. on, Father. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Ain't my fault. Bless my bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Here you go, bud. Ready? Yeah, there, yeah. Here, ready for this? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been, go ahead, what, four decades since your last Probably. confession? Probably. <laughs> All Probably right. Five. Listen, I'll Probably hear you. Five. You you got me um, for Murr's funeral. You told me we're, we weren't having a priest. 
And I said, well, what's right. going to happen? And they're like, you're looking at it. You're looking me, at it. Meaning you're me. The guy, you're, you're the one who needs to talk about it. All right. So here I am today. I'm going to be your priest. So let, let, let it rip, man. Give me some confession. And I'll absolve I'm, you of all your sins. I'm, I'm really good. Are you? I, I haven't messed up since Christ I was born, I think. Um, how about any foul language, my brother, my son? You got to say my um, son. Maybe at work. Did you feel repentance for that language, my son? Absolutely not. No. Hmm. So I don't know if the Lord can forgive you for that. Uh, Me and him are tight. Are you? Do you yeah. speak with I the Lord his, often? I hold his, his M and M's for him. <sighs> and why would that be? Do I? Did I just because ask that question? Because they kept falling through his holes in his hands. Oh uh, no, <laughs> dude. There's a there's a special place in hell for you, my young friend. Hey, there's a lot of people who make worse mistakes than Oh me. heck yeah! What's going on, dude? What are you up to? Nothing. What's going on? Nothing. Just like I said, we I just got a new rack for this system, so I have it up on the rack and just trying to organize my little area here. Um, felt like talk. I felt lonely. Felt talk, like go. talking to somebody. So I figured, you know what? That's funny. I didn't call you because I thought you'd be busy for your birthday yesterday. Oh, my birthday wasn't yesterday. Yes, it was. No, that was somebody else. Yeah. No? Yeah. Yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had a good birthday, dude. I did. Uh, <laughs> I did. Um, didn't do much. Went out and got some Amish, Amish stuff uh, from the Amish market out there in Westchester. Good stuff, man. You, get, you ever have the uh, Byler's Donuts? Dude, no. incredible. Next time you go out 926, when you get to 202, look right to the right. That, that shopping center right there, it says Amish Market. Yeah. Do yourself a favor. Go in there and buy. Uh, in fact, if they, I don't know if you like blueberry fritters. No. You like blueberries at all? No. All right. You, any kind of donut you can imagine, they have it there. And it's, I guarantee you, I promise you, it's the best donut you'll ever have. Really? It's, it's that good. I am not kidding you. Yeah, they're really good. So they're right as soon as you walk in the front door. I, I, I know the shop is Yep, talking. yep. It's called the Amish Market, but fantastic donut. Well, everything in there is really good. Uh, right. But uh, yeah, you got to check those donuts out. Not that I condone eating donuts all the time, you know, but that how that is, right? This is the summer. This is going to be the year, right? Yeah. It's always the year. Yeah. Hopefully <laughs> it's not the year we die. Well, you know, here's the thing. You know, another birthday... And you start thinking funky, dude. I don't know how you are with your birthdays. If you're settled, if you're good with it all yet, you know. Like I know you, you had the milestone. Then I, you know, I had the milestone. I always lead the way, right? And then right. you had the milestone. Now I took it to another milestone this year, and you're going to follow in that coming up. It's weird, Tom. It's it's a, it's a weird mindset because you start thinking like, well, wait a minute, uh, we're at a new level, but then it's a, it's your step, your first step into the new level. And you just start thinking about all the people that are around you that aren't here anymore, right. especially like Murr and like, you know, like people that are our age. And it, I don't know, man, it's just a weird feeling. You're like, okay, we're here. Like, and then it's the game Battleship. Right. <laughs> Where I just want to be the little, the little patrol boat with the two holes. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? I don't want to be the aircraft carrier or even the submarine. I, I think the submarine's got three, the destroyer Battleship's got four. And the aircraft carrier's got like five holes, whatever it is. I don't want to be them. I want to be missed. Bingo. No, no. <laughs> Any legs of bingo. B11. Boom. Yes. Right next to us. Yeah, it's close, man. That's the thing, too. It, it just feels like, you know, those little depth charges are getting dropped all around us. You know, but like we always said, you got to make your memories every day, right? You still there? I think I yeah, lost I'm still them. Here. Any rides uh, coming up, or what was your last yeah, ride you took? Going to, Nova, going to Nova Scotia, and I want to go back out west again. Okay. When are you going to Nova Scotia? Um, either June 19th mm -hmm. or the 4th of July weekend. Nice. Got to get my passport. I got to get all, all the... Mm -hmm. Are you going to... You plan? I think, the, dude, you might want to look into... Uh, they may have the, the Blue Nose... Now working again out of Bar Harbor, so you could take is the, that the, is that the the ferry. ferry. That you're yeah, about? yeah. So that might be working again out of Bar Harbor. It wasn't working for the longest time, but I've taken okay, it over. So, yeah. so if, if that's the case out of Bar Harbor, mm -hmm. they what do they do? Check the passports and stuff when you get there. Yeah, yeah. So when you, I mean, you'll probably 
I don't think you would have to have it even to get on the ferry because you could theoretically take the ride over and take the ride back. But uh, I think they would just make sure you, you know, just remind you to have your paperwork ready. Um, but yeah, you just ride your bike on there, you know, and then, uh, you know, um, once you get to uh, Nova Scotia, then you'll go through customs right there. You know? oh, okay. And jo- don't joke with them. <laughs> don't be, know, don't be me. Is, that, dude, that is so funny. I was, I was just mm. thinking that today just to go, yo, is gay porn allowed over here? Oh, geez. Not th- and, just go, and I was just asking for a friend. My yeah. friend's right there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, I was a, me and my, uh, my wife at the time, my girlfriend, I go through and I'm, yo, how you doing? And the young girl's looking at me. She's like, uh, I'm doing fine. Sir, would you mad? Do me a favor, sir. Would you pull your pickup truck over to the left over there? I'm like, oh, over to the left. Yeah, right over there. There's an officer waiting there. They took my truck apart, dude. Oh, did they? I mean, I'm dude to all the way down to uh, testing her makeup mirror. I am not kidding you. I'm like, what the heck, dude? I had firewood in there. I had, you know, we we were camping. We camped all the way through Maine, and then we went over to Nova Scotia. We're gonna, you know, stay over there. There's these people, I'm telling you, a good two hours. That's how much they took off my truck, took it apart. And then he's done, and I'm looking at the truck, and everything's, and I go, he goes, all right, you're good. I go, I could have told you I was good two hours ago. I said, so, you know, you got help? He's like, help for what? I said, you're going to put all that back, right? He goes, no, you're going to put it all back. And that was that, man. Yeah, so don't be too friendly with those folks. <laughs> Make it all business. Oh, God. Yeah. That's why I didn't, I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, you know, you can't joke with them, I guess, you know, but, uh, you know, well, I guess maybe you can, you know, but I was like, Hey, how you doing? Like they were my buddies. Like I was trying to, I mean, if you right. think of it from their end, I was trying to snowball them or something like that. You know what I mean? You know, so snow them over, but no, you know, it wasn't the case. I'm just, I joke with everybody. So, but no, beautiful, beautiful, uh, place. Peggy's Cove is really nice. Uh, Halifax is pretty nice, but I mean, again, it's, it's a little desolate dude. You know I mean? It's, it's not a whole lot going on there, you know? So, uh, what are you doing? Like uh, putting a body in a trunk or something? No, uh, my daughter's driving me to the gas station. Ah, okay. Congratulations on your license, young lady. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you go, man, because you're playing music in the background, and I, and I don't want to get arrested from copyrights. All right, yeah, yeah, we don't want that done. Yeah, all, all right, right, catch up here. Later, brother. All right, you got it. See you. Bye. Wait, let's see if I can get one more person on here. Just say hello to somebody. Who has it? Talk to me in a while. Call my doctor. How about that? That'd be pretty interesting. I don't know. I'm not going to bother anybody else today. Who did that? All right. So let's see what else we got. Um, we got some people lined up for request. All right. Let's check this out and fix this. You know, this Tony from Finding Subjects Podcast. You got a request. A hey, finding subjects. Um, just wondering if you could play James Taylor for me. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye. Wow. That guy's got a deep voice. Yeah, we can do that for you. Hey, this is Tony. Got a request? Yeah, how you doing? Call from Mency State Prison. Want to hear some uh, Johnny Cash? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm a, God. I'm a big fan. Of your show. Well, thank, thank you very you. much. Oh, I'm sorry. Cell Block 12. Cell Block 12. You got it. Thanks for calling, man. I really appreciate that. How about that? We'll give him some Johnny Cash. And who else we got here for a request? The request line's open. Hello? Hello. I was wondering if you could play Muskrat Love. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, we are not playing Muskrat Love. Sorry about that. <laughs> Anybody else we got here? I don't think we do. All right, so we'll uh, play the rest of these songs out. Hey, man, thanks a lot for listening to Finding Subjects Podcast. Uh, if you've got a request, send it to us. We appreciate that. And also, go check out Facebook Finding Subjects page, and uh, you can always say hello there. For Finding Subjects, for Bink, for Chico, which we will get those guys back on soon. For listening to Finding Subjects, we really appreciate you being here. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Peace.